Hello world, it's your boy J Living Fit and I return with yet another video. And as you can see by the title of the video, the topic of the video is about protein. Protein, 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 oh I need you. The number one most important macronutrient of all three, remember there's three macronutrients, fats, carbohydrates, proteins. Protein is the number one most important of all three, why? Because it cannot be synthesized from any other micronutrient. Meaning, fats can be synthesized from carbohydrates. Fats can also replace carbohydrates. Protein is the most essential. What I mean by that is you need to be eating it in order to sustain your life. If you don't get any protein in, you will perish. Why? Because protein is responsible for healing and repairing muscle tissue. It's responsible for skin health. It's responsible for red blood cell health. It's responsible for hair health. So you need to be getting protein in. And it's gonna help you make those gains that you want. So, how much protein do you need? Well, according to Nancy Clark Sports Nutrition Guidebook, which is one of the most accredited sports nutritionists out there, she recommends 0.6 to 0.9 grams of protein per pound of body weight. And that has worked for hundreds of thousands of athletes so if it's worked for hundreds of thousands of athletes most likely it's going to work for you so for example i have my phone here let's take the flash off and i'm going to go into my calculator so i currently weigh 140 pounds so i would multiply 0 0.6 times 140 and i get 84 grams of protein and I know you guys are gonna be like 84 grams of protein that sounds like nothing but that's truly all you need to build more size and strength now that's the lower threshold you can go upward to 0 0.9 let's do 0 0.9 times 140 and that's 126 grams of protein so if I was to start my bulk and start my journey to building more muscle mass and strength, which isn't my goal right now, and it will be in the future right now, I'm cutting body fat. In the future, I will be working towards building more muscle mass. But right now, I'm cutting body fat. But hypothetically speaking, once I get into a calorie surplus, 126 grams of protein will be the maximum of what I truly need, what's necessary to put on muscle mass. Anything more than that would just be futile. Now, I'm going to tell you how much protein that I prefer. I do prefer around a gram to about 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. And this is because protein is the most satiating macronutrient of all three. What I mean by satiating, it's fulfilling. I have a video on the science of this. If you want to check it out, link is in the description. But anyways, so like I said, 0.6 to 0.9 grams per pound of body weight. Generally you're about all you need if you're taking it more than that. It's expensive carbs or it's just expensive piss. Nobody wants to pay to be peeing out more. So I would save that money for something else. You know? <laughs> and I know a lot of guys are going to ask me. So when you say protein, where do I get my protein from? Guys, you can get protein from fish. You can get protein from meats, poultry eggs get protein from milk you can get it from cheese you can get it from beans there's so many good protein sources out there all you have those google protein that's very simple now i know a lot of you guys are going to ask me do i recommend protein shakes do i take protein shakes no i don't take protein shakes why well generally because i like to eat my food i used to be fat therefore i have a voracious appetite i like to eat chewing makes me feel good so i rather eat chicken breasts or some ground beef and some beans instead of chugging your protein shake down what matters is that you get your protein in it doesn't matter where you get it from protein shakes are no different from chicken breasts okay i'll say it one more time protein shakes are no different from chicken breasts what matters is that you get your protein in and you're reaching the uh, macronutrient requirements to put on size and strength, which is a caloric surplus. Okay, so you can get your protein from fish and chicken, or you can get your protein from protein shakes. Do I recommend protein shakes? If you're short on time, sure. If you like the taste of it, sure. But just to take it because someone else is telling you to take it, no. You know, there's a, there's a huge misconception that you need to be taking your protein shakes 
every two hours to build muscle that's completely false okay um and the inception of that idea started from fitness companies wanting to just make more money simply put i mean you put a jack guy next to a protein powder and we do know that protein helps with muscle building you associate the two you say okay so let's make a protein powder in which you can get exclusively protein because it's so important okay we can isolate carbohydrates and fats and we can uh double down on the importance of protein which is true but you don't need it from protein powder we can double down on the importance of protein and we can sell it to kids and have guys that are huge and jacked and most likely take steroids advertise the stuff so you put two and two together people see you kids see the um big jack guys they see them next to the big protein powders they, they associate it to like okay they're like okay i'm gonna go ahead and get me <laughs> some protein powder because that guy's big and jacked and he's taking protein powder well i'm here to tell you you don't need protein powder man if you want to use it for your own personal preference cool i don't take protein powder i like to eat my protein i like to eat it it's the same thing it's protein it's a macronutrient it's going to perform the same exact function in the body and that's quite that's quite it man that's pretty much it get your protein from whole foods okay if you don't like whole foods then you're going to be in for a tough time because chicken breast is a whole food and ground beef is a whole food and fish is a whole food and if you're snacking all the time tacky chips crispy cream donuts you're gonna have a tough time getting your protein in but for the most part it's very very easy to get protein in all you got to do is get you some whole foods poultry sources um, if you're a vegetarian you can go with tofu or beans beans are very high in protein lentils as well you got some fruits that are very high in protein as well you just gotta find it man you gotta you gotta search for it and you'll be able to still put on muscle mass without having to just take in so much protein and protein is expensive as well meat products are expensive as hell because you're dealing with livestock animals who have lifespan you know so you can't force them to grow so we can have more protein it takes time it takes time that's why gmos were invented <laughs> so that we can uh sell well not we but the uh, food industry can sell more meat so that people can actually eat more meat or people can buy more meat that's why meat's so expensive so with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video protein is very important but you don't need that much of it man it's a huge misconception that you need a lot of protein 0. 0.6 to 0. 0.9 grams per pound of body weight is the general rule of thumb if you want to go more than that that's good on you i mean you're just paying for expensive urine you're also paying for expensive carbs i don't like paying for things that i don't need i'm a very frugal individual <laughs> if you're a lavish spender of person then go ahead i'm gonna save my money i feel like you should too spend on something better man you don't need that much protein get your carbs and get your fats in you know 0.6 to 0.9 grams of protein that's about it hope you enjoyed the video bring in more informational valuable content on it daily i'm trying to inculcate the masses man one person gets smarter he shares that information with someone else he shares that information with someone else and it's like a domino effect and i'm trying to be that and i'm trying to have the inception with that and really 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 spark the growth in everybody watching this video because you're watching this video for a reason you're all you are watching this video for a reason i understand that i completely understand that you know and i'm giving this information out to you for a reason I care about you guys, okay? So 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 grams of protein. Don't take in so much protein, man. You don't need that much. And if you don't know what 0.6 to 0 0.9 grams of protein is, you need to download an app called MyFitnessPal. You need to start tracking your calories because that's the quickest way to making gains. Start tracking your calories. Quickest way to making muscular gains and strength gains, start tracking your calories. You need to know how much food you're getting in. A lot of people don't track their calories and they wonder why they're not making no gains because they don't know how much food you're getting in you don't know how much food you're getting in one day you could be at a caloric surplus and gaining weight one day you could be at a caloric deficit and losing weight you don't know you know you can't be imprudent you got to be very vigilant okay you got to be very diligent as well and you got to take the right steps and the right measures and i'm trying to provide this to you guys download an app called my fitness pal 
go get you a scale and start tracking your protein intake you will save yourself a lot of money because you don't need that much protein 0.6 to 0.9 grams per pound of body weight will suffice it will do the job now when it comes to cutting when you're trying to lose weight you may need a little more protein and that's going to be a whole nother video for a whole nother topic stay tuned for that one hope you enjoyed the video i'm out peace